Welcome back. You survived 2020. So what's next? How will you go into 2021? Lifestyle expert Emily Raquette has some items that can help you start and follow through with your New Year's resolutions. All right, I know what you're thinking. Emily, I just survived 2020, and now you want me to start thinking about New Year's resolutions? I get it, I get it, but if there's one thing that last year proved to me, it was having more habits and personal discipline help create more momentum and overall happiness. So this doesn't have to be hard. I have three simple habits to carry into 2021. All right, first step is to drink up and not the type of drinking that 2020 brought us. I'm talking about pure, simple H2O. Proper hydration can have a simple and profound impact on our overall health and wellness. My trick is to set a goal of how much you want to drink. So for me, that means a gallon of water a day. Pick your container. You want it to be clear so you can see how much you're actually drinking. And do the math. Know how many times you have to fill your container throughout the day. So I pick a 32 ounce clear bottle. I know I just have to fill this thing four times a day and then I'm set. But you can also just use a simple mason jar and then just use a dry erase marker and make little marks throughout the day so you know how often you're filling it. All right, look, I know this is not rocket science and it might not be the sexiest tip out there, but getting enough water is going to make a massive impact. If you need to put lemon in it, put lemon in it. You like straws? Put a straw in. Put two in. Do what you gotta do. Cheers. And don't forget that quality matters. So if you don't have a built-in water filtration system, I really recommend one of these countertop versions. This is a gravity filter. And what I love about it is my kids can help themselves. They can stay hydrated throughout the entire day without saying, mom, I'm thirsty. Can I have a glass of water? Get it yourself. And don't forget your largest organ, your skin, to keep that hydrated. Most lotions contain water, and water actually repels water. It pulls moisture out. So that's why you want to use something like a lotion bar that's made with beeswax that will help seal it in. See, one simple habit water can have an impact on so many different areas of your life. Up next is journaling. And before you roll your eyes at me, I am not talking about the pour your heart and soul out onto paper journaling. Dear diary, I'm talking about a simple daily strategy that will get you clear on your goals and intentions so you can move forward with peace. The best part is you don't need any fancy tools or planners or systems to make this happen. You truly just need pen and paper. But if you were to use an organizer or a daily agenda, I happen to like journals myself, then you'll be all set. Just use what you have. So here's the method. It's three simple things you ask yourself every day. Number one, need. What do I need to get done today? These are your appointments, their meetings, the Zoom calls, tasks that have to get done that day. Number two, great. What would make today great? This is like an extra, like a bonus. If this happened, this would just make my day. It could be sitting down for a family dinner or you're gonna get that outdoor walk. What would make today great? And three is let go. What can I let go of today that's been holding me back or dragging me down or a burden or causing extra stress and anxiety? If you do those three things every day, need, great, and let go, a simple journaling practice in the morning, you'll have more clarity and intention to start your day. Obviously, overall immunity and health is still top of mind in the new year, but we still want to live our lives. So there are simple swaps you can make that are better for you and for the planet in general. For starters, if you're wearing a mask often, going out and about, then you could switch from the disposable to a reusable. We have seen so many masks all over parking lots, the streets, and water, and our landfills. There are some companies that are planting a tree for every mask bought, and they're expected to plant more than 100,000 trees just this year alone. Or you could do something like a neck gator. That way it's always on you, doubles, as a scarf and just make sure it passes that flame test. Other companies are making masks specifically designed for kids. They're fun, they come with a lanyard, that way they're not gonna lose it when they're at school or on the playground. I take a deeper dive into these habits and other tips over on my podcast, The Amplify Show, or my blog that you can find at emilyraquette.com. Have a happy and healthy new year.